guys, it's Alice here. I am a doula, a childbirth educator, and I spin the wheel and see what topic we're going to talk about today. Let's do it. Ooh, talking about hydrotherapy. Hydrotherapy is one of my favorite things for labor. It's a big word for something super simple, and that is taking advantage of water for comfort during labor. Now, we did cover the shower in detail in this video right here, but the shower is a great place for hydrotherapy. So it's dark in there, or I suggest that we make it dark in that bathroom. We have the nice warm heat of the water and you know, whether it's on our back, whether it's on our belly, a shower can be excellent in labor. But what we haven't talked about, which is what a lot of people think about with hydrotherapy, and that is a tub. So getting in a tub in labor can be amazing, but wait, don't get in too early. If you want to get in early, it might stop labor. So let's talk about that. When do we get in a tub and when can we take advantage of some wonderful hydrotherapy? Getting in a tub up, you know, deep tub of water can really reduce the pain of contractions. But if we get in a tub in early labor, it can often slow down labor or send labor away for a while. Now, it's kind of magical though, in very early labor, Let's say you go into labor and you haven't slept at all. So if you go to bed, if you go into labor sometime at the end of your work day, at the end of the day, before you actually get any rest at night and you start feeling contractions, it is a great time to get in a bath. Have a little hydrotherapy and your body can relax enough that sometimes you can take a nap and get some rest or go to bed and get a few hours in before real labor kicks in. And I sometimes suggest this to my doula clients and they're like, I don't want labor to stop because I'm ready to go into labor. But trust me, getting some rest before labor starts is so key for the rest of your labor to go well. So getting in a bath then is excellent. Now, say labor picks up and it's going pretty strong, but contractions are still kind of far apart or they're not in a good pattern or, or you know, a very um, reliable pattern and you want to get in the tub. This is when you might want to say no to hydrotherapy because at this time, it's probably a time that you want labor to keep going strong. And if the pattern isn't strong and reliable, long, strong, and close together, then there's another tendency for it to slow down again. And this not, might not be what you wanna do. It, you really, when you get into a tub, if it's not long, if your contractions are not long, strong, and close together, you need to think to yourself, is now an okay time for labor to slow down? If the answer is yes, and you're like, yes, I probably could rest, or it's okay if it slows down, it'll pick back up, you know, It'll, it'll be fine, then it's okay, get in a tub. But say you are trying to strengthen contractions, maybe you are, your water has broken and your care providers want you to make some real progress in labor, then hydrotherapy probably isn't the best. But when your contractions are long, strong, close together, and Maybe you even know that you're in active labor because you've had a vaginal exam and you know you're already six centimeters, then it is a lovely time to make use of a tub. A nice, warm, deep tub can really take the edge off that pain, can give you some buoyancy and just feel a little bit lighter and a little bit better. And sometimes you even hear I've heard midwives and doulas call the tub an aqua dural, so kind of like an epidural, but an aqua dural, and because it, it really can relieve some pain and be a wonderful place for labor. So hydrotherapy is awesome. You've got the bath and you've got the shower. Just make no note of the best times to use them. 
if your labor is not long and strong and close together, I would wait on the tub and maybe make use of the shower until you have that nice long active labor or transition labor where you can take advantage of the tub and not worrying about it slowing down contractions. Hey, did you find this video helpful? If so, please hit that like button. It helps other people who are looking for the same information find it and come up and it comes up higher on the search in YouTube. Also, I'd love for you to subscribe so you know when the next video is going to be loaded. See you next time. Bye guys.